Hello everybody, welcome back to 6906 Gaming and World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, it is actually the world event for Halloween called uh, Hallow's End, I think. Um, so we're going to do a little video with that and a couple other little things. Uh, one of the great things is uh, you do have little quests that you can do here. So you see me here just picking up the quest and then I got to get buckets and I get to be a fireman. But first I got to go trick or treating. There's buckets like this all over the world and you actually get achievements for uh, getting all the buckets. I'm still working on that. I have a few left uh, here. I get to play fireman and I put out a fire that wasn't there because I was just smoke. There's no fire. Uh, so I have to go over here. I don't see any fire there yet. But the bells have told. Oh, where's it at? Your here. Your young and your old. Oh no. Each of you shall oh, here he comes. That's the headless son. horseman. Uh, that mount mercy. is actually very coveted, and uh, I'm trying to get it. But he sets buildings on fire. <laughs> Later on, we're gonna fight him. And after you get done putting out all the fires, for the first time, you get nerd points. Uh, these events like this give you a lot of achievements, um, and they're fun to do. So now we get to somewhat kill the Headless Horseman, and then he'll drop a pumpkin that we get to smash. Which, basically, we just take a quest off and then go turn it in. We don't really get to smash it, per se, which kind of isn't as much fun. Be safe, Ogra. May your blades never die. Another fun thing I get to do, I get to throw jack o' lanterns at people's head. Uh, there's actually an achievement for that. Um, you have to do one for every race. That includes alliance and horde. Um, I got the actual achievement like the next day after doing this. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that's the achievement right there. I still had a few more left. And these guys up here on the left actually gave me a couple quests that uh, I forgot to record me picking up. But here we're going to South Shore, uh, which is an alliance area. So I'm going to get attacked by guards, which they're pretty low level. So it's no big deal. Um, if you look up in the right left hand corner, you'll see I'm starting to form a little group there. Um, that's going to be for the Headless Horseman. Um, as soon as I get done with this, I go do that. Now, the idea is uh, I have to throw these stink bombs. I have to do three of the stink bombs, and then I have to go put rotten eggs in their cast. Uh, which is, I can't remember if it's beer or wine, but it doesn't really matter. And you'll see I make pretty quick work of these it does flag me for pvp but no actual alliance characters really bothered me in here So it's time for the Headless Horseman. Um, now this is a fun little quest slash fight. Um, now that's this right here is not the Headless Horseman. This is just some mobs that we killed on the way in. Uh, the Headless Horseman world event or world boss, or 
event boss or whatever you really want to call him is in a lower level dungeon called Scarlet, Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. Uh, each of us have a daily quest that uh, we can summon him. So all five of us get to summon him. And he drops his mount. Um, you'll see his helmet. You'll you actually have a chance to get that. The mount's ultra rare. Uh, also, the sword that he has, he drops. He also drops some uh, a pet called the Sinister Squashling, which I actually got on a different trip. Um, and some rings, which I end up getting a ring and a broom mount while I was here. So. The idea here is you beat him down to 1% and then you go kill his head. Now the head is not tauntable, so it just kind of floats around and you have to kind of follow it around. And then it's just kind of wash, rinse, and repeat. So you do that three times, there's three phases of that. Now if you see there, you see he threw a pumpkin. He'll throw a pumpkin at somebody and it'll get on their head and it will daze them or keep them from doing any of their spells or damages or anything. It'll kind of confuse them. And here's this little spin rooney Here's his head. I think I might have gotten a hit on his head on that round. It goes down pretty quick, especially if you have a group that knows, kind of knows what they're doing. Uh, the good thing about Lich King Classic is most of us are veteran players that already know the fights. Um, so it makes it a lot easier. Now in the third phase, you'll see he busts out a whole bunch of those uh, pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns. That's actually the same thing that looks like the pet or the sinister squashling. Here you'll see I got nerd points. And there's that broom I was talking about I end up with uh, at the end of this. So we're going to... Uh, speed this up a little bit and kind of just speed through these fights So after we got done with the Headless Horseman, I decided to go to Undercity and eat way too much candy and make my character sick. The good thing about that is, once it happens, I get nerd points or an achievement called Let It Out or something like that. Uh, and then after that, I just went, I, I go do a whole bunch of dailies, which I'm going to fast forward here. Uh, I actually enjoy most of these dailies. They uh, are pretty quick and give a lot of experience. So, that's one good thing about them. And they don't bother me too much. Um, it doesn't feel like a grind every day to do them. Here I am uh, shooting out a whole bunch of drapes. 
I love these type of uh, quests where you get in like a gun or a turret and you just sit there and shoot stuff. I I like that. I know a lot of people complain. They say that these are bad quests and all this. Nah, I enjoy them. Speak your piece. We press on. Ashes to ashes. So here I am turning to my last little set of quests. And if you look, my XP bar is basically at 100%. So when I turn this quest in, hey, hey level 80. That is the max level on this uh, game. Well, in this version of the game. So I was very happy to get there finally. And you'll see me do a little dance here in just a second. Maybe. Oh, I forgot I mounted. I have to dismount to do the dance. Oh, let me take. There we go. Now, oh, there I go. Yep. I can't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. All right, guys. I want to do something a little bit different today. Um, This did take me a while. I had about, I think, seven or eight hours of footage to go through. But I do want to thank you for joining us here at 6906 Gaming. If you have not done so, please hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment, it helps us out a lot. And stay tuned for more World of Warcraft, Wrath of Lich King Classic. Y'all have a great day.